All right, welcome back everybody to another Halo Reach Mod Tools tutorial. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to get your own vehicle AI working. So for today's test, we're just gonna be doing it on Forge World here. We have a simple, you know, little area that I wanna kinda of use is which is the circle area here um, to show you guys how to use these vehicle AI. So let's start it off with getting our spawn point actually over here. We're gonna to go to game data. We're gonna delete that old spawn point and we're gonna put our spawn point right here. This is where I want to spawn my Spartan when we actually tab in and, and check these AI out. So the first thing that we want to go ahead and do is press edit types. And we're going to go ahead and go to biped, press add. We're going to go ahead and add a grunt.biped. And we're going to scroll down and find the marine. And we're going to add a marine.biped. Press done. See a bunch of these errors pop up. If that ever happens, just go ahead and go to debug and go ahead and turn off events display. Press home to get rid of that menu and pop it up as well. Go ahead and go back to edit types. We're gonna go to character and we're gonna add these dot characters of the grunt, grunt got grunt dot character and marine or trooper dot character. Double click that or press add tags, whichever button you wanna use. Now to go ahead and add these characters to our tags here. Go ahead and press squads, press new instance. You'll notice the game will freeze. Um, this is just something that the game has to do. It has to process its, its way of stitching the pathfinding basically to allow you to have pathfinding on this map. So we're going to go ahead and let this load. It, it may take a little bit because it actually is quite a long process to let this go. So I will see you guys when this is finished. Okay, so it's done stitching the pathfinding. We're going to go ahead and add a zone now. I'm going to drop that down, press the areas. And we're going to right click on the map here. We're going to kind of just stretch this out to kind of give us a, a little bit of an area for these vehicles to, you know, drive around and combat each other. So we're going to go ahead and kind of make it kind of the size of this little indented area, this little flat area. So next thing that we're going to do is we're going to press the vehicle area. We're going to tick that. We're going to go ahead and press on zones underscore zero and generate all. Now you'll see that these little squares will appear here with this black line through it, that basically means that it's a vehicle area and it's created for that specifically. We're gonna go ahead and create two squads. We're gonna create a cell for each one. Drop down the cell, new instance, add our trooper. Well, actually, yeah, trooper. Then we're gonna add another instance for the weapon. We're gonna go ahead and give them a DMR. We're gonna close that cell because we're done with that. Go back to the grunt one. We'll add the grunt here and we'll give him a plasma pistol. Okay, so now we're going to rename the Grunt Squad to Ghosts and then the Marine Squad to Warthogs. So, now, the next thing that we need to go ahead and do is create these spawn points for these Warthogs and these Ghosts to use. But before we do that, we're going to give them the Zone underscore zero via their squad. Now we have done that Zones underscore zero and they're ready to go. Next thing that we want to do is go ahead and create these spawn points. So. This is important that you pay attention to this part because this is going to be explaining how you actually spawn certain vehicles with certain amount of AI in different seats. We're going to go ahead and create three spawn points here. So for this example in this video, we're going to be spawning a Warthog for the UNSC side. So we're going to go ahead into vehicle type and press on Warthog. Seat type for this initial one, we're going to press driver. For the second spawn point, we're going to change it to Warthog. And we're also going to change this to passenger. So basically what this is doing is the first one, this first spawn point is the driver. The second one is the passenger. And the third one is going to go ahead and be the gunner. So how this works is we need three spawn points to fill the three seats for the Warthog. Or at least the chain gun Warthog. That's the default Warthog, by the way, if you didn't know that. Um, so... For example, if you have a trooper hog, you're going to have to have more spawn points to have these troopers be in the back. So that would be, I think, four or five spawn points, I believe, you can have for the trooper hog. And if you have a falcon, you just need to calibrate it with how many seats there are available for the AI. So if you have, like I said, a warthog would be three. Trooper hog would be about five or six, I believe, you can fit for AI. And ghost would be one and on and on and on. So you just kind of need to figure out how many seats you have available to you with the amount of spawn points that you would have for these these spawns to work. So we're going to go ahead and collapse the Warthogs menu. And we're going to go to the Ghosts. 
And now this already has the characters and the weapons, so we don't need to mess with that. And we're going to change where these guys spawn. So we're going to create two spawn points for the ghosts. And there we are. Two spawn points. And these are going to be changed to ghost and driver because there's only a driver seat for the ghosts. There we go. Driver. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually open up the warthogs again. We're going to open up the cells for the warthogs and we're going to type in three so three is the diff count which is the amount of ai that will spawn within these spawn points we have three spawn points a driver a gunner and a passenger so they will spawn and one of those three uh is where the warthog will actually spawn and the rest of the ai will just appear in the vehicle essentially now we're going to go ahead and go to the ghost we have two spawn points for them we're going to change that diff count to two and now our ai should be ready to go i'm going to go ahead and save play squads and you'll see that these guys come in, but the Warthogs do not for some reason. Let's try to figure out why that is happening. So we have the Trooper in here. We have the DMR. We have the diff count correct. But these AI are not spawning for some reason. So let's try to figure this out. So we got Warthog. It might be actually because we have that already picked. Let's go ahead and try spawn these guys again. Okay, so uh, I actually figured it out. And the reason being was that you need to have this as warthog which i did before but i did just try it without it and they just spawn on the ground so there we go now we should have it fixed let's go ahead and collapse both of these squad things we're going to highlight both of them in the element here and we're going to play squads and there you guys have it a warthog driving around with two ghosts fighting them and they have pathfinding so they will pathfind within this area that we created for them to pathfind within and that ladies and gentlemen how you get ai to pathfind with vehicles if this tutorial helped you out at any point in time in the video whether it was from the beginning or whatever you learned from this video which i would hope that it would be how to spawn vehicle ai but you never know but anyways guys that is how you do it i hope you guys enjoyed like i said and if it did help you out drop a like on it and hit that subscribe button for more halo reach mod tools yes halo 4 and halo 2 anniversary multiplayer mod tools are coming soon tutorials that is they are coming soon i will be going over to them here very soon to check that out and show you guys how to use them tools as well at some point in the near future that is going to be it for me happy modding enjoy modding with some vehicle ai and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out